G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I wanna talk about the D's. As most of you know, because a lot of you have hit me up over Instagram and various other platforms telling me about uh, the D's result, we lost. The Melbourne Footy Club lost to West Coast over at Optus. I was gonna say Oval there, Optus Stadium. So a little bit earlier than this time last year, I made a video about the Melbourne Football Club when we lost and didn't make the finals. Put your cheese platters out, very funny, put your cheese platters out. That's so frustrating, like that's just, it's not even funny. Like not all D's fans have a cheese platter. Oh, I've had it! And it was very much take the piss, but it was out of frustration. Like, we had played so well for most of the year and given us a real opportunity to make the eight, and we essentially choked, but it looked more to me like we ran out of petrol tickets. And that was something I was sort of fearing for this year. I got a little bit nervous going into the last couple of rounds that that, that would happen. Um, I got a little bit fearful. It was amazing that we got this second wind and just propelled us deep into the finals, like to beat um, West Coast over there, GWS, Geelong, Hawthorne. Like if you had told me a couple of years ago we're kicking out Geelong and Hawthorne in the final series, it just, it's crazy. This year has probably been the funnest year I've ever remember watching football. Like we won 14 games, I was less than 10 when we last won 14 games, so I don't really remember it. I've never been to a D's final until this year and I went to two that we got up. On the weekend, it absolutely sucked. It absolutely sucked. Um, yeah, when, when they got that jump and kicked the first three, I sort of knew it was done. Um, a part of me was like, have they run out of petrol tickets? Have they run out of gas? Um, I just reckon West Coast were just so switched on and so ready for that. Even though we said we were going to be ready and, um, you know, we said we, we wouldn't be overawed by the situation, I think you could just tell that the D's didn't handle it well. But that's okay. That's okay. You know, I was hoping we'd make the eight this year. We did. We won a couple of of finals, that's a tick. The last game was very disappointing and there's no doubt about it. But if you look at the bigger picture, um, it's been an awesome year. And I just thought West Coast looked on. Like, it wasn't like we got pumped and they were fumbling and pretty ordinary. Everything they touched turned to gold. And um, as hard as it was to watch, you know, they are the better side. Um, geez, it would have been nice to pinch it though. I was really pumped this year that I don't know, we filled a couple of holes. Like we got Jake Lever, who after five, six rounds really started to play some good footy before he got injured. Um, you know, Bailey Fritch, I was like, why, why is this little VFL bloke coming in for Jack Watts? And you could just tell why, like very classy, very, um, he's got a little bit more intent around the footy and he brings that pressure as well, which is awesome. The big weed, oh, the weed. I've always loved the weed. Ever since he debuted, I was at his debut game against the Hawks where we upset them a couple of years ago. It's the first time I've ever seen a key forward show anything, um, but like besides Jesse Hogan, for like, for it's the first time ever at the footy club. Because I don't know, we always had key forwards that would come in and just struggle a little bit and then get delisted. Jesse Hogan came in and just showed straight away why he's gonna be a gun. Uh, and Sam Wiedemann hasn't come in to that full effect, but it's the first time I've seen a 20, an, like an 18, 19, 20 year old forward come in and show signs that they're gonna be good. We need a little bit of outside class, but your Jack Vineys and your Angus Brayshaws who killed it this year, um, Clay Oliver, I don't know. That is gonna be some midfield in the future. Like, those names are ridiculous already at their age, and I don't know, another couple of pre-seasons, it's going to be so much fun to watch them. If there was someone we needed to target in the trade or draft, I'm not sure we've got many picks to hand off, um, but geez, a big, big boy in the back line would help. I was watching the couch a couple of weeks ago and they were saying Jesse Hogan could go down back if Wiedemann and Tom McDonald are working out forward. Maybe that's our answer, but we need a big body down back because too many times this year, the big keys, um, yeah, really just had a day out on us. But yeah, I just thought I'd share my feelings. The game sucked. It sucked. We lost by 10 goals, but it looked like it was going to be worse. Um, but yeah, overall, the year was amazing. Amazing year. Um, 
and I'm so I'm like I'm excited for next year already. I cannot wait. You know, I wish I could fast forward through summer, just get to round one. I, I want to see how the days go again. But um, also, I just want to say I appreciate all the support with the vlogs. I know not all of you guys are Melbourne supporters. It's funny seeing you guys write, not a D's fan, but wanted to see the D's win for you and stuff like that. I really do appreciate that sort of stuff. Also, on Thursday, I'm having a meetup. So, Twisty and Liam Van Gemster coming down. Uh, Mitch Bowl and Austin Cookson have confirmed. So, that'll be on Thursday. It's in between gate two and three. It's at the Kevin Barlett statue at the MCG. That footy festival is on. Um, so, you know, once you get bored of us, you can take off and sort of hang around that, that footy festival area. It'll be at 1.30. I'm going to make it 1.30. And also tonight, um, if you guys tune in, um, me and a couple of the boys will be watching the Brownlow and live streaming it. So feel free to tune into the Brownlow while you're tuning to us. Um, we'll be playing some games and having a bit of a laugh. So. Um, yeah, if you've got no one to watch the Brownlow with, chuck us on in the background and, you know, have some entertainment. Anyway guys, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.